Oke. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Uh, so, Assalamualaikum. Uh, good evening to Madam. My name is Alif Kamil from the Army Green Group. Oke, okay. next. Uh, so for my group is about uh checkpoint thirty three. So our group members, which means uh Vishwa, uh Uze, and also me. So the before the event, we are making discussion about the game with our group members. So the game is about the throw the team. So from the one point to another point, need to throw the team, uh with the line given. So that uh, that we are discussing before the event and also the give. And also the team. And also before the event, we are joining the rehearsal, which the place need to make a game, which the suitable place to play this game. So that is the before event. So during the event, uh, our group members making briefing and demo of the game to the participant before the before we start our actual game. So that is the during the event. So after the event, our group members are feel happy to conduct this game, and also we had a new experience, uh, from these games. Okay. So the last is about the individual reflection. So the Eco Spark event raised speed high, inspiring participants and empowering them with a call to take meaningful action toward environment sustainability. So these are the. Reflection I had been learned from this game, from this final project, and also from this game. So, good day to Madam Elia and my fellow friends. My name is Turkashini. Now, I will proceed to my reflections. So, being part of the Echo Spark Medical Fest was both challenging and rewarding. Initially, we were confused by the instruction, especially when figuring out the games and realizing we were at checkpoint 28 out of 37. Then, uh, joining the WhatsApp group was uh, crucial for getting clarity and connecting with the high committees and lecturers. With our lecturers' guidance, we we finalized our game, which is tricky portal knockdown, and then we, did, we uh, divided responsibility among us, which is Xiaomi, Fatin, and me. After that, we are rehearsal at we do rehearsal at Taman Lama Budaya Tasik Shah the day before, making necessary adjustments like switching from cans to bottle due to the locations. So on the day. Of event, Fati and I welcome the MSC president and enjoy the traditional dance who performed by, uh, PACC, before heading to our location near the uh lake. <clears throat> then we managed to host the seven groups, and while controlling the crowd was tough, but we did it well. So looking back, um, I learned the importance of clear communication strong teamwork and effective leadership. So in future, clear instruction and less checkpoint will help make even more smoothly. So that's all from me and I will pass to your next presenter. Thank you. Hi. Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Farah Aisha and today I will be sharing my experience as part of the committee for the EcoSpark Merdeka Fest held on 10th of August at Laman Budaya Taman Tasik Shah Alam. This event was a collaborative effort between our university and Majlis Bandar, Bandar Raya Shah Alam with a significant focus on sustainability and community engagement. So um, before the event, the preparation is a key to any successful event. Uh, our committee had a meeting where tasks were assigned. My task was to organize an activity at Checkpoint 34. The activity involved 
the flip bottle challenge and again called pyramid team. However, we faced the challenge where we couldn't find enough cans for the pyramid team game. This was a major concern as the, the cans were essential for the activity. In the lead up to the event, we conducted a site visit to the day before to ensure everything was in place. Despite our earlier difficulties, we managed to find enough cans at our local food court. This was a huge relief as it meant we could proceed with our um, setting up the checkpoint with everything in place. On the day of the event itself, we successfully conducted the activity at checkpoint 34. The participants were enthusiastic and the flip bottle challenge combined with the pyramid team game really brought out their teamwork and coordination skills. The activity was a hit and it was great to see everyone engaged and, and having fun. So reflecting on the experience, I realized the importance of teamwork and communication. These elements were crucial in overcoming the challenges we face and ensuring the event ran smoothly throughout the day. The, this experience also taught me how to manage a large event with a big crowd, which is very valuable skill I will carry forward into the future projects. So in conclusion, the Eco Spark Merdeka Fest was a fantastic opportunity to put everyone's skills to the test work as a team, and contribute to a meaningful cause. I am very grateful for that. So thank you for your, for your attention. That's all from me. Hi, hi, Mindu and everyone. Unfortunately, I just reminded to fight in Africa. So we pray to be for the evening. As a country member for the April Spark, as was a new and I agree as well for me. Because in the plan, the plan is start early and I realized how much effort it was to be advising at the event. And then go to our first meeting. The first meeting was on August 8th with Madam Raimala and I like the importance of clear communication and passion to the So we first uh next to the preparation. Preparation before the event. Budget or budget of RM catering twice a week as we use recycling material to put our cake crop. As my team, uh, we are using water bottle bottles and reusable water bottles. And site visit, as visiting the site is on August 9th, we show how crucial it is to see the movement and also before the movement. And next will be doing the event itself. And during the event, I will working with my team, uh, Charlie and Lisa, at checkpoint 28. We the value of food. And next week, handling the crowd. Handling the, uh, the large crowd was challenging, but but it reminds me of the importance of food. And uh, I would like to do as but not least, individual reflection. As we wrote with what's mean by that, moving from being a participant last year to a member this year is a new understanding how much effort goes to organizing an event. Our of the experience gives me a new perspective on event management and I'm grateful for the support from media media and the lecturers and my team. That's all for my part. I will just to... Okay, hi everyone. So my name is Krishna Gadresan. So I'll be presenting about my reflections. So the first one is <clears throat> before the event, uh, the first thing that our lecturer, Madam Ilya, delegation of tasks to each of the group and to individually. Uh, and then <clears throat> we have a rehearsal on 9 August at Laman Taman Budaya Tasik. <clears throat> and then the during the event, uh, I have assigned as a technical department to handle about the technical MPA system that is led by Sir Hakim. Um, and I'm also the member of Family Fund Zone. So after the event, we have cleared all the boots and also make sure that the venue is clean before we leave. And also we had a photo session. So <clears throat> the last one, uh, I would like to share my reflection about uh, about this subject and also the event. 
uh, I feel that this community service has bring a lot of benefits to me, such as communication skill, teamwork skill, leadership skill, and also get to help me to know and explore more about knowledge about the community and also fundraising activities. So I think that's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, my name is Mohammed Uzai. I will be presenting on the reflection uh, on the event of uh, uh, Ecospa uh, Maldica Fest. So before the event, so we have a rehearsal on the day before the event. So we have divided the task equally among the group members. Uh, the preparation that we make is uh, we have to find, we have to find the uh, items to conduct the activities. Uh, for example, for our group, we need to find things, uh, cardboard, uh, markers, and so on. So during the event, uh, we have cooperate each other to all, although there are many participants involved. So the event went well and all the participants enjoyed the activities. So the the reflection for this event, I have learned many things uh, from this Ecos Park Medica Fest, including to become a responsible person, gain on teamwork skills, and also uh, have gained on how to how to have a leadership skills. So that's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uzair. So for my reflections, my name is Iqlil. Uh, I have been, a, a, the role has been assigned by Madam Ilya and Head Committee on the 1st August 2024, which I had to manage the Family Zone booth for fundraising activities. For the preparations, we have a, we, we have a rehearsal on 9 August 2024. The detailed briefing on booth locations by uh, Madam Nasrins which I arrived at Alaman Budaya Tashisha Alam on uh, 6.30 a.m. on the event day, which this involved arranging and organizing the booth, uh, attaching the name signs to each designated area, and ensure the, uh, that all necessary materials were in place, such as the chairs and the tables. During the day, uh, on the 10 August 2025, the event ran from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Throughout the day, I managed the various activities at the family zone group, which to engage the families and children while I uh, raised the funds. This activity include the chongkat game that offer five ringgits, catch the fish game, which the cost is three ringgit, and the bubble activity, which costs a five ringgit. And we also uh, sell a hand rock flying game uh, for five ringgit. So um, for the replacements, uh, the Ecos Park Medica Fest was a significant event, not only in celebrating Malaysia's independence, but also in promoting environmental uh, sustainability. This experience has a deep my commitment to environmental sustainability and a community engagement. And I would like to gratitude to Madam Ilya and the Miss Hidaya, also made an Ashram and others that's true for their guidance and support. That's all for me. I will pass to next presenter. Okay, thank you so much, Iklil. So, uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Naimi Urgina Alwani. Uh, first of all, during the preparation process, our team have conducted multiple meetings to discuss regarding the project, such as task delegation, and we even had a rehearsal a day before the event itself. The event named Eco Spark Medica Fest was conducted on 10th August 2024, uh, which we conducted it at Lama Budaya Taman Tasik Sha'alam. I was one of the committees for the activities in this program, which I was assigned as the organizer for checkpoints, where we have 37 checkpoints in total, and mine was 34. So my checkpoint consists of three members, which were me, Nuru, Ashikin, and Farah Aisha. We conducted a game called Pyramid Team, Pyramid Team that requires teamwork skill. I've gained many benefits from this project, such as teamwork skills, where I've learn to work with other committee members and participants that improve my ability to operate like controlling large crowds. 
The next thing is by being the organizer. It really helps to improve my leadership skill as I take the lead and direct participation. Last but not least, in terms of communication skill, I've learned to communicate effectively by giving clear instructions, listening to participants as well as discussions. So that's all for my part. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Thank you, Naimi. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Shalini. So I will continue for the reflection part. Before the event, there were a few things that I wasn't clear and was a little bit confused about the event and the checkpoints because of I found, I found out the information regarding the list of checkpoints was already listed in the WhatsApp group. With limited time, my teammates and I had to quickly decide on the games and submit our plans within a day. Originally, we planned to use cans for the games, but due to time constraint, we agreed to change a little bit about the game by using bottles. On the event day, my teammates and I were assigned to checkpoint 28, with only three people being in charge of the checkpoints to control a big group of participants, proved to be a bit tough. Very well, since group of participants are not arrived at the same time. At the end of the event, I feel satisfied with what we have done and I gained, it. I gained the experience of how crucial it is to communicate clearly, to prepare ahead, to work with others and how to handle people. Overall, the event was an enjoyable and valuable learning experience. So that's all for my part. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Hi, my name is Nurul Ashki binti Muhammad Jalani. I will share about my experience as community in event EcoSpark Medical Fest. I was assigned as Checkpoint Community, which is Checkpoint 34. Before the event, we have meeting with Madam Parimala. And in the meeting, we have discussed about the flow of the event. Based on preparation, me and my group has collecting cans at restaurant and food court. We also attend a rehearsal a day before the event at Laman Mudaya Taman Tashik Shah Alam. On the day of the event, me and my group has conducted pre-amid team activity, which is they, ha they have two stages. The first stage, they have to spill the bottle and move to the second stage, they have to build a pyramid using cans, starting bottom with four, three, two, and one. Last but not least, for reflection individual, I have improved my teamwork skill and communication skill. That's all for me. Thank you, I will pass to the next presenter. Uh, thank you, Ike. Uh, so, my name is Vishwar. And so, for today, I'll be presenting my reflection uh, of a major project that is, uh, that is entitled Echo Park Medica Fest. So, uh, the event was held on 10 August 2024. And uh, the venue of the event was Laman Budaya Tasi Shalam. So, uh, so before the event, uh, we had a meeting with all community members and also HICOM together with Madam Parimala regarding the preparation of the event. Uh, I have also discussed with my group members regarding the delegation of the task during the event, so that during the event we won't be uh, too panicked and also uh, we are well prepared. So for the preparation of the event, uh, for me, uh, for my part, I purchased markers, tapes, and also scissors for our game. Uh, I also attended the rehearsal that was conducted uh, a day before the event. So uh, during the event, uh, I and my group members conducted the our game that is throwing teams at checkpoint 33. So uh, during the event, uh, all uh, all of our participants enjoyed our game, even though there was there were some misunderstandings regarding the um, regarding the uh, rules of the game, but uh, we managed to solve the problem quickly. And also, I can conclude that our game was a uh, true success. So, uh, regarding my individual reflection, uh, so I've I've learned that uh, teamwork skills is important because I've managed to work together as a team, and also I've managed to um uh, work together as my team until the game of our um that the game that we have planned uh, was a success. 
the second aspect is actually communication skills where uh, I've learned that com communication skills is important where I, ma I managed to communicate uh, with my group members that is Muhammad Uzai, also Alif uh, regarding the preparation of the team. Also uh, for the third aspect is coordination skills where I've learned uh, through the game where participants uh, really need to uh, have good coordination skills where they need to throw their team cans uh, in between the two lines that we have prepared for them. So I believe that's all for my reflection. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you so much for the reflections.